In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw a straight line and create a, an accurate grid pattern with uh, defined spacing between each line very quickly and easily. There is a new feature in Corel Draw 2020 that will help you with this, but for anybody with a previous version of Corel Draw, uh, this will be the easier way to go. So I'm going to get started here by creating uh, a new drawing page. And I've set my drawing space to 12 inches by 12 inches, but it can be whatever you wish. So we'll start here as well by clicking the two-point line tool. I'm going to left click and hold, drag my mouse down. I'm going to press the control key to make it perfectly vertical and release. Now I want to set the dimension of my line up here to 8 inches in length. And then over on the left side, I want to accurately position this line to the lower left edge of the drawing page so I have a zero point to work from. So we'll set the X dimension to zero. Then we'll move it over to the left. And we're going to set the Y dimension to four inches, which is half the length of our line, putting the bottom of this line at the, the lower left corner with a zero, zero point on our design page. Now we'll go back and select our pick tool once again. And with our straight line selected, I'm going to press and hold the control key and press D for duplicate. And that will give us a second line, a duplicate of the first. Now I'm going to set my X dimension to one inch, which is the offset I wish to have. So one inch on the X and of course four on the Y. And now it's accurately spaced one inch apart. Now the neat thing here is that when I press Control D again, it's going to duplicate the line, but it's also going to duplicate the offset. So you can press this as many times as you wish to get as many lines as you wish. Now if we wanted to do the same thing, but on the horizontal axis, we'll select our two-point line tool, left click, hold, drag it out. We will set this line to 8 inches in length as well. We're going to position this. We're going to go 4 by 0. Control D. Set our dimensions to 4 by 1. Control D again. And then back to our pick tool. I'm just going to delete these random lines over here. And there we have it. An accurate grid. And like I said, you can use Control D for anything. So if we had a, a square, we can Control D, grab that, drag it to wherever we want. Or again, we can set a specific uh, location using the, uh, the XY positioning over here. So anyway, I hope you found that helpful. And we'll be back with more videos later.